Eli's been unwell for seven months roughly now. He was fine at school on a Friday afternoon and then the next morning he woke up feeling a little bit funny. He deteriorated quite a bit by the next day. Since then it's just been a whirlwind. We were uh, choppered to Wellington Hospital and then within 24 hours flown up to Starship. Children with the type of illness that Eli has, they are not able to get the messages from the brain to the muscles. Unfortunately, in Eli's case, he's actually unable to tell his lungs to work either. And so we've had to do that for him and he has a machine that's able to move his lungs and breathe for him as well. Probably the biggest challenges that we've faced um, so far is the, um, the divide that we have in it amongst our family. We're at either end of the North Island at the moment and generally I'm at home with the two boys, the, the, um, Isaac and Jesse, and Tracy and Eli are up here and although I come up every week, it is hard. Um, it's hard for Tracy to be away from the other boys and it's hard when Eli's going through some bad times to be away from Eli. And it's hard for Eli to be away from them as well. Yep. He definitely, definitely is missing the family time together. The boys are just dad's little helpers. You know, every weekend or after school, any time they can get out there, they're out on the farm helping. He quite often says to me, oh, I just really miss the farm, or, you know, I really miss my home. But also his friends, his school. This um, virtual reality experience is going to open Eli's old world to his new world. So if we can all of a sudden take him out of that world and bring him into his old world through this virtual reality, we, we hope or we believe that it's going to be just an eye-opening for him and he's just going to, yeah, it's just going to be another incentive for him to try hard at the things he can try hard at, which will um, improve his quality of life. Effectively just bringing home to him. Thank you.